a video today about my new air gun, my first FX air gun. Very, very excited because this is the new FX Panthera, and this one is um, the 500 millimeter version. The reason I got this version over the 700, um, which is what I primarily ordered, was because this one shoots pellets and slugs, and for what I'm going to be competing in, I need to be able to shoot both, not just one. And the 700 is just primarily four slugs. So we're going to go ahead and open this up today, and we're going to see what comes in the box from Utah Air Guns, guys. So I purchased this from Utah Air Guns. They do the safety checks and all that stuff on it. So this is actually my first time seeing what's in the box. Okay, it's beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. So I did order some extra stuff. So this is the, just bubble wrap that's on there. It only comes with one mag, so we'll have to be ordering some more of those when they come in. Uh, looks like a, another type of adapter for fill probe or an adapter for fill probe. Um, Let's see, the DRS bag that says it comes with, it came with it. Pretty sweet. Heck yeah. I'm happy about that. Nice. There you go. Even says FX on it. DRS on the back. Cool, man. Uh, just so everybody knows, I purchased this with my own money. And we have... Looks like, I don't know if this is the slugs that I ordered or if this came with it extra. Um, the card that comes with it tells you who tested it. It's Panthera, 30 caliber, 44.7 uh, grains, the pellets that they used, 44.75. Um, average velocity was 900 feet per second, and it was Ryan, the tech that did it, so... Got some uh, swag, cool, I like that. Stickers from from Utah Air Guns. And hopefully I got some FX ones too. Uh, owner's manual, of course, we that's important guys, owner's manual, so you understand how your gun works and all that good stuff. Yes, and an FX sticker, cool, that'll go up on my sticker board. And another FX sticker, so sweet. Those will have to go on the safe. And now, what we've all been waiting for, the FX Panthera. Look at that, guys. Look at that thing. That is just beautiful. Wow. Tell you what, when you, you see it on video, and it's just, it's just different, dude. This is a different experience, guys. Like, this is really high-end gun and I haven't even shot it yet I have another very high-end gun um, in my collection and this is just this thing is just gorgeous man this thing is awesome so um, we're gonna go ahead and put a scope on it which we can't show on YouTube and make sure that the magazine fits with the scope mounts that I have and then we will go out and shoot the first shots and have fun with it, guys. Um, so, yeah, this is this is beautiful. This is awesome. All right, guys, we'll see you back here once uh, all the accoutrements have been put on. Okay guys, without much further ado, we're going to go ahead and get out and uh, get to testing this uh, new Panthera. Um, went ahead and put my Vortex um, Diamondback Tactical on there because um, it's a 30 millimeter tube and um, my badass scope. Um, is a 34 millimeter tube and will not fit on here even with the high mount so I have to go find some extra high 
mount so we can get that bad boy put on. That is, this is the scope that's going on the gun. Arkin Optics is the scope that's going on the gun, guys. Um, the air gun, this is an air gun. This is an air gun video. I have to make sure that I state that for guys that may watch this and try to um, take it down. Okay, guys, first shot through the Panthera, FX Panthera. So that was 902 feet per second. Whipping that slug out there, man. Okay. Second shot. Feed so smooth, guys. Oh, yeah. Third shot, guys. I guess you get what you pay for. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, go put up a new target real quick and then come back. Do it again. Okay, guys, let's see if we can get some repeatability out of this. Now, this is 25 yards. chamber guys oh my goodness that trigger is so smooth so smooth guys this puts my uh If I could just stop wiggling. goes forever. This thing is insane. 9-12, The regulator's at 150 bar. And I think it we're at like 130 on so we can go one more shot. I don't know if I loaded one or not. Nope, that was it. All right. This is group number two once it's zeroed. One.
three. me still in the tin ring well guys I think I've proven the point I bought this gun not knowing what FX is all about, and I can tell you, they haven't paid me to say nothing. I bought this gun with my own money, and this is a fantastic, fantastic air gun, guys. I don't know if I'll buy any other company gun after this experience. If any of my other experiences with FX are half as good as this gun, I'm going to be a happy, happy FX air gunner for years and years to come. And don't forget about that uh, moderator on the front there, or air gun suppressor. And that one is the uh, Impulse Air 1350, guys. Phenomenal. Looks beautiful on this gun. I don't know how things can get much better. It does look like um, we are maxed out on my will, so I'm going to have to call and talk to Utah Air Guns and see what they have to say about that. But I'm going to go ahead and shoot a few more rounds out of this. And uh, call her a day, guys, because uh, my chronograph's about dead. And uh, I'm not out of air, but I don't want to shoot it all up in one day. I got my own compressor, guys. I'm not worried about that.